Hello and welcome. On this uh, master study, we're looking at John Singer Sargent, and we're going to be doing this scene here, Corfu, Lights and Shadows, painted in 1909 in watercolour by John Singer Sargent. So we'll give that a go. A quick thank you and a shout out to my patrons. Um, great, thank you for following me and supporting me. You're making all these videos possible. So we've had quite a few new patrons recently, so welcome. So don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe and enjoy the video. So the first job on this scene is to get some warmth into the sky. The sky and the building, should we say. So it's, I think, probably almost white of the paper here. Everything is very soft, so no hard edges at this stage. We'll deal with the bottom of the painting a little bit later, maybe. We'll just put a few bit of warmth down here. But, uh, John Singer Sargent was well, a master at uh, well, pretty much everything he did. But, um, his charcoals, his oils, everything was expertly done and he was a, an excellent draftsman. I think that's had a, a lot to do with it. So I think that's enough for the, the warmth. So we'll need to let that dry because this painting relies on soft and hard edges and cool and warm. Uh, nice cobalt blue in the sky. And a little bit of warmth in there. Uh, we need to make sure we go the correct strength straight off. Nice crisp edge down there that uh, will describe the side of the building. Suggestion of a, a cloud or two there. And the same up here. So there's a, a mixture of wet into wet and wet onto dry, um, which is one thing that I like about John Singer Sargent, that although he painted many years ago, it's a it feels a very modern way of painting, that it wasn't the traditional uh, way of uh, drawing and filling in the uh, the drawing. So that now needs to, to dry but I'll put in the the rooftop here and paint the roof so it does kind of connect to the, the sky. So that should have sufficiently dried enough now to uh, Get this roof in. Take away a little bit of that blueness. Okay, we'll go with that. Let's give it a go. has dried sufficiently. So we've got some shadows on the, the roof. Carefully try to describe those. So I don't have to get them exactly the same as the reference. I did carefully draw them out much the same. Strengthen that blow a little bit there. I think we've got some burnt sienna. Take a, maybe a bit of 
You get a mocha in there as well. And then this needs to be painted into to this wet into wet. So this is the uh, the shadow that the eaves are casting by the looks of it. And obviously when you do these studies you kind of just have to guess what all these things are because we don't have the original reference that uh, he was using. And I think I probably need to paint the shadows on here into this so we get it to wet into wet and not go too dark with it that uh, it's quite a, a subtle and plenty of water I think I say it'd be uh, impossible to uh, follow these marks I just got to envision how he would have painted it and just make sure I leave enough, leave enough of the white just a suggestion of a few bits of details all it needs as he's done here is a master at that to just uh, paint just enough what's needed to describe the scene. Let's just give that a little spray. Can just use some clean water just to soften any hard edges. Well, I'll, I'll have a few, I don't mind a, a good mixture. And I can just put a touch of colour in there where I see it. You know, there may not have actually been a window here in the, when he painted it that. Uh, I'm sure he was uh, good at uh, editing the scene and uh, deciding what to put in and what to make up. All right. Careful not to fiddle. side. I'm in deep concentration here. But, uh, this may look like a you know a simple painting but it was masterfully painted. So I'm just trying to recreate some of those those marks. It's a great tool to to learn to paint to do this sort of stuff that uh, it certainly frees you up because you can kind of see how these brush marks are made and it's all very loose and you know I imagine this was probably painted in a very short space of time well, it would have had to be because the shadows would have moved fairly quickly. But uh, if you've done any painting outdoors, you'll know you've got minutes to get it down on paper. Let's get a dark in there while it's still wet. So thicker paint. Now goes to green in the little doorway there. So 
This is a, a cooler part of the, the scene. Be careful not to paint this into the blue there that it needs a, a fairly crisp edge. Well I've just done that a little bit won't hurt, I'm sure. And then a bit of blue painted wet into wet here. dark at the top here. But I think uh, obviously John Singer Sargent is more famous for his oil paintings but I think towards the later part of his career when he I think decided that it was more trouble than it was worth doing these portraits of the uh, high society but uh, I think he did concentrate more on travels and doing watercolour. And I've said it before, that watercolour is a master's medium. And he certainly shows that here. There's subtle bits of work in the shadows there. little touch of red just suggests that again more warmth on the side of that building but just a little bit just a subtle nothing too much so let's come over this side while that's doing its thing Let's see. So I have to have a look to see where this painting was. Probably somewhere very warm, I would think. So that needs to dry because I need a hard edge for the shadow across there. So I'm going to work down in the foreground here. And let's, let's clean that up. Let's just get a little bit more warmth in here. Again, just clean water just to soften that. Remember, less is more on these sort of occasions. Just a bit of sunlight there. And there's just all sorts going on down here, which I suppose is could be gravel or something like that, maybe. This is painted all very much wet into wet. Some greys. <clears throat> so we've got to be careful not to go too dark and spoil the uh, the subtleness of this scene.
cooler on the front. a little bit of green there that kind of balances the green on the other side. Just drop some bits of red in there while it's wet. Try and keep these colours nice and fresh. A bit of purple. Purple on there, we'll put that in here. Bit of orange there. That was a lot of colour. So I think I'll now dry this and then I can put the leaves in here. Well, that's probably already dried and I can put the detail in here. Um, so we'll probably go with those leaves actually before it's totally dried, although it may well be totally dried already. Let's just put them in. So this is now dry. Yeah, it's dried, so this is now wet onto dry. So I'll get hard edges. I uh, need to just make sure I leave plenty of sky to show through. And this is fairly thick paint. And mix it on the paper. Some blue. So I have a few uh, John Singer Sargent oils, not the originals, obviously, ones I've painted. So I think I shall add this to my collection of uh, forgeries. I think you can. Uh, do copies and even sign it with your name but as long as you don't try and sell them you're okay it's just a master study also you can sell them but uh, you can't sell them obviously as a John Singer Sargent painting I can't remember his name I'll put it on the screen there's a famous artist who uh, made a good living doing forgeries um, did go to jail for it but uh, he cleaned up his act and actually became quite a famous artist or still a famous artist and um, does uh, master copies as a living but sells them as genuine fakes not uh, forgeries quite an interesting program on YouTube about him I think that's enough. I don't want to go overboard with that. So let's get this shadow in. So the shadow comes across here. And this is a good tool to make this part of the house really stand out. Yeah. So, well, we've got 
got some dark paint there. I think it would benefit from being a bit darker there. get into the point where I shall just have another look see if there's anything I've missed that is needed there just a little bit of detail here on the, the path dark with that. Again, it needs to be soft. And there's a bit of orange. This painting is all about the freshness. The, the paint is just laid on without fussing. There's got bars on the window. I think I need. Slightly more on this door of these shadows. Let's take the tape off. So what have we learned from uh, this master study? Because it's got to be a reason to do them, to, to, to learn. Obviously it's a nice painting, um, but I can't call this my own. This is you know, John Singer Sargent's composition, his colours. Um, so I think I've learnt that um, not to go too dark with the shadows. Um, that if these were really dark blue, it would you would think it'd have more pop, but it would just lose its it would lose the sunlight and realistic um, feel to it. I think, um, and all of this wet into wet here, that you know if you have a good combination of hard edges and soft edges, again I think it gives that illusion of um, you know it being a real scene. So yeah, I think there's a, a lot to learn from this this painting. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed a change of uh, master studies that uh, we've done a lot of Edward Seago recently. So uh, we'll have a look at some other artists. So perhaps in the comments, let me know some other artists who are definitely worth a look at. That, um, we had a good suggestion a while back for Trevor Chamberlain, a fantastic artist. So um, yeah, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.